Class nine. Today we are going to start with the chapter. A house is not a home. So this you know. Can anybody tell me what is the difference between a house and a home? Very simple question. What is the difference between a house and a home? Yes, Dia, you can speak. Yes, Dia, you can speak. What is the difference between a house and a home? Ma'am, a house is made up of bricks and uh, cement, whereas a home is made up of uh, made with love and family members. Yes, uh, it is a loving place. Okay, right. So this is the difference between a house and a home. That a house is made up of cement, bricks, mortar. When everything is put together, all the material things when they are put together to formulate a building, this is called a house. But what is a home? A home is a place which is. Uh, a house can be turned into a home if you provide your love, care, affection, and share your feelings, share your worries with the persons in the family. So this is called as a home. So here in this chapter, a young boy named Zan, his house was burnt. So when his house was burnt, he thought that his life has completely come to an end. He was in the new school. He was not able to adjust even in the new school. So this is, of course, a, of course, the reality that suppose if you are studying for many years in one school, and when you go to a new school, you find why you find it difficult to adjust in the new school. You also sometimes find it difficult to talk to anybody. You will not be able to develop friendship with anybody. You won't be able to share your feelings with anybody. Sometimes in the new school students, they often face this difficulty that the children, they are not sharing their work with them even. Okay, so why all this happens? This all happens because a person is not able to find a sense of belongingness. They are not able to uh, relate themselves with the new environment. They never feel like talking with anyone. They never feel like playing with anyone. One, and they thought that they are not of my type. It means that the person is not able to relate to the new environment. At some of the point, we can also say that the person also lacks the quality of adjustment. Yes, of course, this can also be the reason that when a person lacks the quality of adjustments, then he feels that, of course, it is really not possible for him to adjust in the new environment. The person feels it's difficult to find himself in this kind of new environment. So now in this chapter also, young boy, when he has lost his house, when his house was completely burnt, then what happened? He thought that his life has come to an end. There is no place for them to live. Only uh, the narrator, uh, along with his, you can say mother, they were living in a house. Their house was completely burned due to accidental fire. And after that, it took some time for him to make a new house. But during that time, he has found in the new school, he has found new friends who were very affectionate towards him, very uh, helpful towards him. And then finally, at the end of the chapter, he thought that his life is back on track. So it means that to these sequence of events, what the narrator wants to deliver to us, the narrator wants to deliver to us is that in life, of course, we have many changes, sometimes many absurd, some drastic, and some shocking, some sudden changes we have in our lives and which led to big changes, big leaps are being, uh, you can say, are held in our life. And ultimately, we must have the power to adjust in this kind of environment. We must have the power to feel ourselves like adjusting in this new kind of environment. And it is just because of with this adjusting power only we will be able to survive. Otherwise, we will be suffering from a lot of problems, we will be suffering from stress, we will be suffering from other problems also. 
right so this is what we are going to read in this chapter a house is not a home so it means finally he has come to know that it is only the emotion the love okay he was having a cat also it was the love with his cat also that was ultimately making his house uh, making his house a home so this is what we are going to read in this chapter right so here goes the chapter a house is not a home you can have it in front of you right it is on page number 49 page 49 in your books otherwise it is also displayed here on the screen so here it is <coughs> the story reflects the challenges of being a teenager yes this is another point to be highlighted in the story that being a teenager you have number of problems sometimes you feel i always talk that you feel the problem of adjustment you have the problem of adjustment it is just because of this reason that you feel that you are not able to adjust at one point teenagers they often take some time to adjust it is just because of this reason that many many a times when parents they are taking the decision to change your school you are the first one to rebel you are the first one to revolt no i won't go there all my friends are back here with me and how can i go to the new school how can i adjust with the new environment how can we i be able to have complete tuning with my friends and my you can say teachers this is what means teenagers they also suffer from different kind of problems but at a teenage you have emotional type of problems means you are mostly emotionally moved you feel a lot of problems related to emotion you have number of problems you have problem in adjustment you have problem in adjusting to the new environment you have sometimes your mood swings also that ultimately makes sometimes it is difficult so you know immediately in this age you have fight with your friend and on the next day sometimes even some minutes after after some minutes you are again friendly with each other okay so it means that during this age emotions they are of course short lived they don't last long and they don't have that deep impact upon your life but as you grow up sometimes if you if you have developed any kind of you can say hatred with anybody you never talk to that other person it means that it changes with life okay so this story it reflects the challenges of being a teenager it means that this story what it tells it tells us the challenges that a teenager feels and the problems of growing up and what are the different kind of problems that a person feels when he grows up how does the author overcome his problems so in this chapter we will come to know we will read that how this young teenager has overcome his problems it's a very interesting story it's all about the pets also one has that when a person has its pets how much a person is attached to his pets my first year of high school felt awkward awkward means unusual so the writer is the narrator is saying that when he has joined his high school first year in a high school that experience was not a usual one it was very an awkward one very strange one after leaving my junior high at the head of my class with all the seniority the upper grade levels could afford me so he said after completing my junior high school so he said to know that you can say in foreign countries uh, there is junior level high school and high, senior level so when he has completed his so when he has completed his junior level school so he said i was the head of my class and ultimately i was see it seems to me that i was senior it felt strange starting over as a freshman freshman means when you are a new okay to a school or college the first year in a school or college it means that is your freshman year 
okay freshman means when first year it felt strange starting over as a freshman he said that it was really very difficult for me or it was of course a strange uh, strange year for me to start as a freshman in this new environment the school was twice as big as my old school and to make matters worse my closest friends were sent to a different high school and i felt very isolated so this is one of the thing that most teenagers feel they feel it really very difficult for them to adjust in the new environment and what he said the school was twice as big of course the new school it was big twice as big it was double as the big as that my old school and that was of course a thing to be proud of but he said it make matters worse it was making all the matters worse still this was not helping me to adjust because there i was not of opportunities and just because of those opportunities even i was not able to adjust in my new school still i was feeling very isolated i was feeling very separated from the other ones and i was never feeling relating with anybody in my new school i missed my old teachers so much that i would go back and visit them so what he said i missed my old teachers because this is of course the fact that when you go to a new school you always find it difficult to adjust in the new environment you will always relate your new teachers with your old school you always feel waha pe to hum aise used to do this we used to do that we had game periods for this much time and we have this type of you can say activities but there is nothing wrong in the new environment the thing is that a person lacks the vision to see the new environment and when you develop that vision then you start adjusting in the new environment slowly and gradually what happen if you are going to a new school for few days or few you can say or a month or so you feel like not relating yourself to the new environment but later on what happen you feel that i was a part of this school or this institution for such a long time so this happens it means that the type of environment you live in you get accustomed to it so <laughs> what he said i missed my old teachers so much that i would go back and visit them so he said that i used to go to my old teachers to visit them and often meet them to share with them my feelings that really i miss my my old they would encourage me to get involved in school activities so that i can get so that i could meet new people but my old teachers they are always they are always suggesting me that i should involve myself in new activities so that there i could get a chance to meet many new other people and i can develop good relations with them they told me that in time i would adjust and probably end up loving my new school more than i had my old one they often told me that if i will develop friendship with the newer ones slowly and gradually i will adjust in the new environment because i will find i will seek new opportunities and i will be pretty busy there also they made me promise that when that happened i would still come to come by and visit them from time to time and they often ask tell me ask me that when you will get an adjusted to the new environment to the new school you will definitely come and meet us yes i understood the psychology in what they were saying but i took some comfort in it nanatness nanatness is an archaic form old form means nevertheless so he said yes of course he said i know the psychology i knew the reason why they were saying so they were saying so so that i will be adjusted and they never wanted to hurt my feelings he said i knew the reason why they were saying so, so why they were saying so and he said whenever they were telling me this thing sometimes i feel comfortable in that 
comfortable in the feeling that yes one day i'll definitely be adjusted there because after completing your junior school and going to a senior school there is a no point of coming back means a person always grows from lower level to higher level and there is a no point of coming back from higher to lower level this is what he is saying one sunday afternoon not long after i had started high school so now he has come upon so first of all what he has shared he has shared a background that how he has gone to his new school how he was feeling there so now this is the particular incident about which this entire chapter is all about so what he has said one sunday afternoon it was sunday afternoon he was doing his work not long after he had started high school he said not so many days has been passed out when i have started my high school i was sitting at home at a dining room table doing homework it was a cold and windy fall day so he said in the afternoon i was sitting in at the dining table along with my brother and was completing my homework and it was really very cold day i have not gone out so i was staying inside and we had a fire going in a fireplace going in a fireplace means what he said that in there was a fireplace nearby where they have lit fire so as usual my red tabby cat tabby is the type of cat he was having he said my red tabby cat was lying on top of all my papers purring what is purr purr is the sound produced by the cat okay so purring loudly and occasionally sweating sweating means like sitting like this with his you can say paw at the pen for entertainment's sake so he said i was doing my work my red tabby cat was also sitting along with me she was producing sound purring sound and ultimately uh, it was sweating sweating its claw its hand over my table over my pen just for entertainment purpose she was never far from me i had rescued she was never far from me she was so he was so attached to that cat he said i had rescued her when she was a kitten and somehow she knew that i was the one responsible for giving her the good life good life means uh, the life in having all the opportunities and having all the facilities of life he said that from where he has got that cat he said that he has got that cat when she was a kitten when it was a small kitten he had rescued that cat and she knew and what she said she knew that the cat even knew that this he is responsible for rescuing her and providing all the facilities of life so this is the reason the cat was also attached to the narrator my mother kept stoking the fire to keep the house nice and warm stoking means changing the position of the wood okay and so that it must not produce much smoke and the fire will be lit in proper manner so my mother kept stoking the fire my mother was stoking the fire means she was changing adjusting the uh adjusting the you can say logs of wood so that while fire can be lit properly and the house can be put properly warm suddenly i smelled something strange and then i noticed it smoke pouring in through the seams of the ceiling seam means very small openings okay so he said suddenly when i noticed he smelled some smoke he looked around he find nothing when he looked towards the room what he has found he has found that it was smoke that was visible from the seams of the ceiling the smoke began to fill the room so quickly that we could barely see soon what happened they were finding the reason from where this smoke has come soon what happened this entire smoke has covered up the room and it was such a dense smoke that they were not able to see and groping means they were finding their way in that dark room 
they were groping groping our way to the front door finally they were trying to find some space to go out they were not able to so to see where the door is they were groping putting their ha hands out to see the front door and we all ran out into the front yard so naturally what is the first step when a person is you can say suffering or it is he is engulfed in fire they have to go into the open open area so you know wherever some big buildings are there big complexes are there there are special and exits in case of smoke so that people can save themselves by going into the open area so that and not anything warm or not anything heated up can fall over them and they can be saved so this is how this is how it has happened that they were running out into the front yard by the time we made our way outside the whole roof was engulfed means completely filled in flames and it was spreading quickly so by the time he said by the time we reached outside the yard the complete roof it was completely then they saw when they has gone outside that the entire roof it was you can say it was engulfed in flames it was completely burnt in fire and it was a force spreading quickly it was really spreading quickly i ran to the neighbors to call the fire department actually the first step a person would take is to call the fire department they have gone there to call the fire department while i watched my mother run back into the house but at that moment he said i don't know what has happened to my mother she was running back into the burning house why but why she is going there now the next paragraph it gives the answer my mother then ran out of the house carrying a small metal box full of important documents then after some time not much after 2 to 3 minutes my mother came back she was holding a small iron box with her and he knew that this box it contained the important documents she dropped the case on the lawn it was hot also of course because of the effect of fire she has dropped it into the lawn and in a crazed state means in a mad manner she ran back into the house again so now after coming out with these important documents which are of course really very important for us she again ran back into the house but why she has gone there i knew what she was after but the narrator said i knew why she has gone there my mother my father had died when i was young and i was certain that she was not going to let his pictures and letters go up in flames he said my father had died he said that my father he died when he was young and he was sure that this is the last memory of my father and she never want it to go away she knew that this was the memory what was the memory of his father those pictures those letters that she has that she never wanted to burn in flames this is the reason why she has gone back into that burnt house burnt house she has took the risk to go into the house to the rescue these letters these pictures which was the last memory as his father was dead they were the only things that she had to remember him by still i screamed at her mom no so he said i knew that this was the only memory she had for my father but he said i knew that though they were really very important for him i still i screamed scream me shout at him mom no please don't go inside i was about to run after her when i felt a large hand hold me back he said i was trying to hold my mother stopping her suddenly what happened something was dragging me back it was the hand of a man who was that man it was a fireman mainly means he was so you can say busy with the thoughts of what is going around that he has hardly noticed the presence of firemen 
I hadn't even noticed that the street had already filled up with fire trucks. He said I had never, I had not noticed it. I was trying to free myself from his grasp, yelling. I was just telling him, "Leave me, leave me! I want to save my mother." You don't understand. My mother's in there. He was telling to the fireman, "You don't understand. My mother is inside. Let me go and save her. It is really very important for me." It's all right. They will get her. The fireman said, "Don't worry." You need not to worry. They will bring your mother back. He wrapped a blanket around me and sat me down in our car. So what happened? They also, as a you can say, as a part of first aid, they have wrapped the blanket around him. They have wrapped the blanket around him and made me sit in the car. Soon after that, a fireman emerged from our house. With my mom in tow. Tow means that carriage because mother was bit. You can say suffocated with you can say uh, with the effect of flames that smoke. She was bit unconscious or not bit proper in proper condition to move. So in tow means that stretcher in which they have put the mother and finally they have brought her mother back. So this is. All about a house is not a home. Uh, introduction. Okay. So in the next part of the story, we will read that what kind of uh, you can say difficulties he has faced when one's house is burnt. And this we will continue tomorrow. Okay. So now by the time I can have your doubts.